Hello and welcome to day 54 of the Eneden series. In the previous video, we saw how do we create an account on Wapi and then how do we create an assistant which can take the details. But it was still not connected to our Google Calendar for scheduling a call and it didn't give us data in a structured manner. So let's see how do we do the settings so that we can get these two things corrected. Let's begin. So let's begin where we stopped last time and let's change the prompt. Okay, because we have just given uh, So let's begin from where we left during the last uh, session and let's continue. Okay. One of the things that we missed in the system prompt is telling the agent that they are supposed to collect the information to schedule a call, right? So we mentioned um, it's a dedicated assisting. We mentioned it is proficient AI expert dedicated to assisting users by gathering their preliminary details and understanding their needs, right? While we want it to be a helping agent which can schedule the call, right? And for that, what we will go do is let's go to more and let's go to integrations, right? And we have voice providers like PlayHD, InWorld, Prime AI and so on and so forth. These are all voice providers. Scroll down and then you can see model providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, uh, Inflection AI and so on and so forth, right? Scroll even more down. You can see transcriber providers like DeepGram and all of that. So we can use our own API key here, okay? Um, when we want to connect our account, okay? Tool providers like make.com, go high level, Slack, Google Calendar, Google Sheets, go high level. Okay, strange. So tool provider, go high level is here. And also here to connect your go high level workflows and tools. And this is for integrating with go high level accounts. Okay. Anyways, we can also connect to Google Sheets. Okay and uh, we have vector store providers and so on and so forth. Now, what we will do is we will go to Google Calendar and connect that. Let's see, I'll click on connect. Link Google Calendar account. I'll click on connect. I'll use this particular account. Okay, and I'll select all. It needs access to view and edit events on all of your calendars. View your availability in your calendar. Okay. Click on continue you have successfully connected. Let's see if it works. And there you go. So it shows this guy, which means it is already connected. Okay, so now it is connected to our Google Calendar. So let me just go over here and open Google Calendar, right? So let's see, we connected our Google Calendar, which is good. Let's come to Assistant back. This is the Assistant. And let's change these details. Okay. And let's go to generate and give all these details. And also say to each change uh, the assistant role to be an interview scheduling assistant so based on the users based on my availability as per my calendar okay check a good time for the user and Schedule a call. Also, please ensure the call is between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. IST. Okay, let's click on Submit Edit. Let's see what we get. You are a proficient AI 
Okay, so it has changed a few things. You are a proficient interview scheduling assistant dedicated to helping users by organizing interview meetings and selecting optimal times for both parties. Maintain a formal yet approachable and friendly tone and all of this is same. Uh, task is greet the user warmly and introduce yourself as an interview scheduling assistant. Uh, request the user's full name, wait for user response, confirm the user's name by uh, spelling it out character by character, ask for the user's email ID, again same thing. And error, if the user input is unclear, gently ask clarification, clarifying questions to gather the necessary information. Okay, the second point is same. If scheduling conflicts arise, propose alternate time slots and ask the user to select the most suitable one. Okay. This is good enough. So let's click on accept changes. Okay. Uh, we don't have any files here. That's fine. Voice configuration is good. Once this is done, let's go over here and we go to structured data, right? And we'll tell, um, we will need a structured output from the agent and the properties will be defined built. So let's add the first property and let's call this as full name. It's a string. Okay. Mark it as required because we need it. And in the description, we can mention this is the full name of the candidate. Next property is email ID. Again, string. Okay. We can mark it as required and add the description. This is the email ID of the candidate. Third one is going to be the date time. Let's mark it as okay string itself because we don't have any other method specific for date and time this is the date and time the candidate has a scheduled call okay, in this format Wi-Fi then hours minutes and okay team bar PR. okay so we have refined the uh, prompt and we have also mentioned that we need structured data in this format. Let's also make this change like use Google Calendar integrated to schedule the prompt. And then let's go to tools and create a new tool, create tool. And let's use this create event, okay, which is uh, called Google Calendar Tool, right? And let's uh, mention uh, this is to be used for creating events in Google Calendar based on users preference. Okay, so it will take the calendar ID and all of that, like it's optional. Okay, time zone is uh, Asia, Kolkata. So it would take that. Let's try it out. So this is Google Calendar tool. Let's save. We can also create one more uh, this thing for checking the availability. Okay, so this is for checking availability. This tool is to be used to check the availability of uh, check my availability. Okay. Before confirming with the user. Okay, so let's click on save and we have got uh, two tools and we just go to assistant 
and use those tools here okay so let's select this and this both of them are selected we can just make the change over here okay schedule the interview at a mutually agreeable time um, use use the tools added in the tools section for checking the availability and creating the event right so once this is done let's click on publish and let's make a call hello i'm neha from abcd how can i help you today yeah i would like to schedule an interview certainly i'm here to assist you with that to begin could you please provide your full name yes my name is ritesh hegde thank you ritesh could you please confirm your name by spelling it out character by character uh could you do that for me please certainly based on your response your name is spelled r i t e s h h e g d e could you kindly confirm if the spelling is correct yes that's right thank you for confirming ritesh hector next may i have your email id to proceed yes the email id is abcd@rit7.com thank you could you please confirm your email id by spelling it out character by character please do it for me sure based on your input your email id is spelled as abcd@ritz7.com could you confirm if this is correct uh yes rit7.com that's right thank you for confirming ritesh the email id is abc@ritc7.com now could you let me know your availability for the interview i will propose slots between 10 am and 4 pm ist please specify your preferences uh i would prefer it to be in the afternoon got it let me propose some time slots in the afternoon i will ensure they fall between 1 pm and 4 pm ist one moment please as i check my calendar availability based on the availability here are three proposed time slots for the interview on october 10th 2023 1 1 pm to 2 pm ist 2 2 pm to 3 pm ist 3 3 pm to 4 pm ist please let me know which time works best for you um i think you are confused with 2025 instead of uh i think you are confused with 2023 instead of 2025 could you please check that my sincere apologies for the oversight the proposed time slots are indeed for october 10th 2023 here they are again for your convenience nope i want it 2025 Hey thank you guys for your confirming. Here are the proposed time slots for October 10th, 2025. 1 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. IST. 2 2 p.m. to yeah. 3 p.m. You could book it for 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. That's fine. Your interview has been successfully scheduled for October 10th, 2025 from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. IST. You can view the event details using this link. Hitchups and www.google.com calendar event 18 M05C2BJBMX0CWTBCSV8DJR2A25QATVOXNG EWC9YDEB Okay, thank you. 6MY5 So let's go to our calendar. and check it so here you can see interview with ritesh agde is scheduled right and uh, that is from 1 pm to 2 pm that's a beauty of connecting our uh, calendar to wapi okay now let's quickly check how do we send this details to google sheets 
while we could do it similarly like we saw uh, with integrating calendar but i want to show you how we can do that using anated because i want you to understand how you could connect wapi to anaten thereby enabling us to connect multiple other platforms that are right now not integrated on wapi okay so we saw that the interview has been scheduled but one more thing that we are supposed to see is let's go to call log and this is the latest one if i'm not wrong right and if we scroll down in the logs we can see analysis structure data. Let's quickly check the JSON here. And you can see here 10, 10, 20, 25, 1 p.m. ABCD at richaman.com and Ritesh Agri. These are precisely the output that we wanted, which we will then send to Google Sheets. So you saw that when we tried to book at the same time, it didn't take it, right? It is intelligent enough to understand when it is already booked and when not. Now, there were a few hiccups here and there. It was going to 2023 because that's the last updated date of the model that we were using. And it thinks that's its present date, right? Uh, so we have to update that in the prompt. And secondly, we had not told how long will the interview be. And that's why it was assuming it could be one hour, it could be two hours and so on and so forth. So those were the couple of things that we have to update in the prompt and things will get better. Now, I told you that we will be seeing how to send the data into Google Sheets, but video was already long. So I will be covering that in the next video. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.